unrecognizable in this role. Uh, Mr. Bachchan, I read an interview of Abhishek's, in fact, where he said he doesn't care about the commercial success of this film, which he just repeated, and all he wants is for you to be proud of him. Are you, uh, are you happy with the way his career has shaped up now? It's a pretty poignant thing to say. Um, well, as a father, I'm going to be always proud of him. But uh, yes, uh, some of the decisions that came in the making of this film were Abhishek's. They were initiated by him. Uh, he was the one that insisted that we produce this film. He was the one that insisted that uh, we make it within a limited budget uh, of 15 crore rupees. Uh, at a time when budgets were, you know, close to 40, 50, 60 crores. Um, and because I think that he realized that, that recovering that kind of money is, is an impossibility. Uh, even in, uh, even in, uh, in the kind of films that are being made, uh, once they get sold at such exorbitant prices, it's really difficult to recover that money. So I'm happy that he chose to uh, keep the budget within 15 crores, and we actually made it in 14.75. And, and that gave us uh, a huge benefit. Um, we are now uh, in the first weekend, which is just three days old, and uh, I'm happy to tell you that we are already in profit. We've covered all our costs and all our money. Well, well, uh, obviously you're a very, very proud father. And Abhishek, you know, you've had so many ups and downs in your career, perhaps more downs rather than ups. And in fact, at one point you said you almost gave it up. Uh, do you think your career has turned a corner? Um, thank you. But uh, the great thing about the film industry is that every Friday your career turns the corner. Uh, which corner and whether the corner is right for you or wrong for you uh, is what uh, is left to be seen. But, you know, we live Friday to Friday. You win some, you lose some. Uh, you have to still carry on, believe in yourself, and keep uh, hoping that the audience will keep believing in you. I'm here today. Uh, pa is my 40th film, and um, I've got another 10 films lined up. I'm very happy that I get the opportunity every morning to wake up and go fulfill my dream, and that's to be an actor. And I'm so eternally thankful to the audience and for anybody who tolerates me on screen uh, for, you know, giving me that opportunity. And um, no, I don't think um, I've turned a corner. I think there's a very, very long road ahead. There's so much more to do and achieve. Um, as you well may have noticed, I have very high standards at home to live up to. So... Uh, uh, no, I think I have a very long way to go and there's a lot, a lot to do and improve. Well, I, I can imagine it's not easy to have parents like Amitabh Bachchan and Jaya Bachchan to live up to as examples. But Mr. Bachchan, you could be kicking your feet back and relaxing. And here you are at 68, still going strong. You're, you're constantly doing films. Are you ever going to call it a day? Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so long as I, I keep getting offers, keep getting challenged and, and my body responds to it, uh, I would like to keep going. And uh, hopefully uh, there will be a, a more interesting project uh, in the days to come. Um, it's something that is, uh, I think that every artist wants to continue doing his work as, as, as long as he can. Uh, it will depend upon the audience really, whether they want to see me in the future or not. And if they do, uh, I will try my best to be there. Well, you know, we've had so many people writing into us when, when we told them we're interviewing you tonight and, you know, they had their own questions. And, and one viewer wants to know more specifically about your experience in playing Oro, uh, playing a 13-year-old with a condition like that. Um, well, a lot of the, a lot of the work uh, that you saw in Oro or his behavior and, or his attitude was, I would say, 90% uh, due to the makeup that he was uh, subjected to. Uh, or rather, I was subjected to, and um, I, I really don't know how uh, um, how I can show it to you now because I don't have the makeup. But I do have my teeth, and they played a very important part uh, in changing the voice. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll put it on now. Is that all right with you? It's it's absolutely all right with us. Actually, it's great to see you reenact the part. Go ahead. Okay, I'm ready. Hi, Oro. How are you? Yeah. Yeah, you can call me Oro now. You know how to spell Oro? Uh, no. How do you spell Oro? Oro? It's, it's uh, A-U-R-O. Oro. Tuba.com.